Hello guys, this is Fan here, and this video is on the best mod for Ace Combat 7. I'll be showing you what you can do with it, how to use it, how to install it, which is really simple. And of course, I'm talking about the free camera mod that just came out like four days ago. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to do the screenshots and take some really cool video footage. What I'm gonna do is turn off the HUD from the flight options so we can take, you know, uh, screenshots or video without the radar and the timer and that all, and that stuff. With the HUD turned off, I'm gonna pause the game right now by pressing the number pad on zero. Game is paused. You can, uh, you can see it's paused. Not with the menu. And I'm gonna unattach the camera from the airplane to get the free camera. So I'm gonna press insert on my keyboard. Of course, this is a mod for PC only, okay? Just, just letting you know. Sorry, console players. Now the camera is not attached anymore to my XO2. And I can use the arrows on my keyboard to rotate the camera. See the different angles, you can see planes there, missile trails, some explosions, a gunfire and rotating there, there you go, that's my plane right there. And I can use the numbers on the number pad to move the camera. So I'm gonna press number eight to go forward, number five to go back, number four to go left, number six to go right. Now it's a little bit slow. This speed is not enough for you to catch up with a fighter jet if you unpause the game. But in order to make it a little bit faster, we can uh, hold Alt. There you go, can walk a little bit. I'm just gonna rotate the camera just so you see, so you guys see the, the possibilities of making screenshots, which are pretty cool. So we can go inside the XO2. You can see the cockpit, take a picture of the pilot there, right? Go inside. There you go, how's it going, man? And take a look at the cockpit. There you go. Because we're in the third person, I mean, the game thinks we're in the third person camera, the resolution of the cockpit display is not as good. Can rotate. Go. Can also look at the, like the rear cockpit, that kind of stuff, like planes there. So you can pause the game and at any moment and get some really cool screenshots. Like, I don't know, like underneath. Underneath the XO2. Missiles coming. Or what you can also do is actually go for the ground forces. You can just move the camera around and uh, follow them. There you go, gonna get the OC and tanks. Right now they're storming into Farbanti by the park. There you go, they're driving on the highway. So there's some explosions here, there's some action. So we can see the models, they're, they're really good quality if you get if you get close. Like this is something you cannot appreciate unless you have the free camera, right? So you can stay right here, close to the action. And I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit behind. And what we can do is unpause the game to also get video footage, like a ground battle or something. So I'm gonna press zero again to unpause the game. There you go. Ocean tanks invading Far Bunty, colorized 2019. And uh, we can still follow them, right? Follow them to victory. And uh, see all the battle happening around you. Now, mind you, I unpause the game in the free camera, but my XO2 is still flying. So if my XO2 gets destroyed, you know, it's game over, you gotta restart. So just bear that in mind if you're doing this as you play the game. In order to come back to the plane, just press insert again on the keyboard. Here you go. We are back. Now, you can use this for the missions, but also some in other situations. You can also use it after the briefing, just pause the game, remove the camera, and uh, move around. You can see the clouds, you can also move around the map. It's a little bit slow, but you get there. You can also use it during the hangar. So you can just attach the camera, and move around. Like right now we're in the hangar, or the carrier, in the last mission of the game. And just keep in mind, if you move the camera with the arrows, it also moves the, the commands in the game, okay? So, let's just ignore it. And let's go outside and explore the sea. Have you guys seen the outside of the hangar in the last mission? See, Ace Combat, Ace Combat Fan exclusive footage right here. Wow. It's empty, guys. It's a different dimension. There you go. Things you're not supposed to see in Ace Combat 7. You can see the, the up part of the hangar. But you know, if you want to go back to the hangar and see the other planes they have in there, that's cool too. And you can also use it during the cutscene. So right now, you have the, the Admiral Anderson. <laughs> Just pause it and touch the camera. Here we are! You can explore the entire world. There you go. You never thought you could be you could be doing that, but you can. So it's very cool. And then we can unpause the cutscenes and let and let them continue from a different angle. 
It was like be able to re-record the cutscenes from a different perspective. Where's my airplane coming out of the hangar? Oh, I mean the elevator. <laughs> the team pulls! <laughs> See, you can spot all the team pulls. Oh, you got some more. Dude, this carrier is powerful. Damn. And then sometimes you have these pops up from like the squadron, but there's a mod you can use it to take it out. <laughs> oh man, this is so awesome. There you go. And then you have you have the play. You can still play it now. It's on pause, so I guess I can go. There you go. Bye. And uh, you can watch it from here. <laughs> bye bye. But yeah, very cool stuff. And now the question is, how do you install it? Let's get to that. So to install, just go to the link in the description. Goes to GitHub, and it's called Ace Comma Seven Tools V One Point Twelve. Should be V Two, but okay. It was made by Ghost in the Camera with the help of, I think, Friends Boma. Now, these guys, they made the free camera for other games, so if you're interested, check their work if you want to go and explore other games as well. Here's the link, here's the instructions on how to use and the controls. I show you the basics, but there's some other functions you can use as well. And what I'm going to do is just go to the GITC, it's from 7 Tools, just click that, download. It's 2.8 what eight megabytes, pretty, pretty small. We're gonna go to downloads. I'm gonna put my on my mods. We're gonna do seven zip, open archive, and we're gonna get everything right here. And I'm gonna put it on whatever whatever place uh, you want. What I do is put it on Steam library, Steam apps, common is common seven game content packs, and little wavy thing mods. That's where I put my mods for is common seven. So let's make a new folder. Let's call it free camera. Make everything organized, and just put the stuff inside. There you go. That's literally how you install and how to use it in the game. You just need to play Ace Combat 7. There you go, right here. Let it in, let it start. Let the game boot up first. And after the game has booted up, as you can see now with the intro screen, just go outside. I guess uh, we can go with the back to desktop. Go to your free camera folder. And just start IGCS injector exe. It's gonna open up this prompt. Press any key to continue. So press V of V2. And when you're in the game, go back to the game. I'm gonna see, you should be see this message saying, "Oh, injectable camera tools." It's it's there. And you can press the command like zero to pause the game or insert to change the camera. And that's how you use it. But anyways, guys, that's how easy it is to do it and get so many screenshots and video footage. And it's basically a way better version of the replay because you can pause the thing. So hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun with it. Links will all be in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.